Hey, it's Dave Wyman from Bob, Dave, and more. It's Football 101, and man, it's good to have football back, and Seahawk football especially. They come out with a 38-25 opening day win on the road. Haven't done that since 2013 when they beat Carolina. Um, made a lot of moves in the offseason. At first, it was kind of stagnant because of the landscape of COVID-19, but um, they were able to, not able to get Clowney back, but able to get a couple of players that were key and especially a safety because I think safety is the most important position. When you look at it really uh, with Quandre Diggs last year and adding Jamal Adams this year, uh, the last two years, the safeties are back and really good. Both of those guys played just unbelievable in the game against Atlanta. But also a guy named Quentin Dunbar, a cornerback from Washington. Uh, they were traded a fifth rounder to Washington for Quentin Dunbar. He had a, a rocky offseason, as we all know, but I didn't think he was going to play that much. He ended up playing quite a bit. Um, and then, and, and by the way, Pete calls him an unusual player. And he said from the standpoint of his ability to diagnose plays. And we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, another guy, Jamal Adams, this guy speaks for himself. He really ended up being worth it. And you want to talk about an unusual player. This guy, I watched him make all these plays that he made in the game out at practice. I just didn't think it would translate necessarily to the game, but it certainly did. Let's take a look at a, a, a play here I thought was really interesting. I'm just going to highlight those two guys on this side of the ball. And here's what uh, Atlanta ran. First of all, this is a tight end here. So they have what's called a tackle over, first of all. Um, so they have guard, then tackle, and then uh, this is a, actually a tight end. And then another tight end on the edge, and then a tight end over on this side. The tackle from this side switches over to here. So it's kind of an oddball um, formation you don't see a lot. As far as personnel grouping goes, we talked about that last year and the years before, it's 13 personnel. So the first number is the running back, there's one, and then the second number is the tight ends, and that's three. So 13 personnel here. What the Atlanta is running on this play, and this is why this is so important that they played this well, is the fly sweep. And what that is, is receiver going in motion, and as soon as he gets about right there, they snap the ball, and the handoff goes right there, and he jets to the outside. It's something that the, the Rams have run a number of times. A lot of their offense comes off of that, and because we play the Rams twice, it's important. They really hadn't stopped the fly sweep in a couple of years, really 2018, I think Frank Clark made a really good play, but last year they had a, a struggle with it and it's what the Rams do. And Quentin Dunbar just diagnoses this right away. It was just a beautiful thing to see, but this happens really quick. It's a quick hitting play. So he's lined up a little bit here. These tight ends, they're trying to get hook blocks. So this tight end is trying to trying to hook him and, and pin him inside. And the other tight end is trying to come up and get Adams. And that way, you know, you let him get to the edge. Your rule as an outside player, as Dunbar is here, is turn everything back inside. And so what he does so well right here is he recognizes the play and kind of shuffles a little bit outside. And then he comes up and what he does is he jams the outside shoulder of this tight end. He aims on that side with his inside arm. So that way he's able to keep his outside arm free. The other thing it does, it turns this guy sideways and he got a good enough jam on that shoulder, or I'm sorry, he, he turned him this way. And you know, he got a good enough jam on him with, with his inside arm to really turn the guy sideways. And one of the principles of blocking is you wanna stay square to the line of scrimmage. And if you can turn a guy like this, you're gonna beat him. And so that's what he does. He ends up beating him and just strings this play out because the running back is just jetting outside. And he does that so well, it kind of cuts off this tight end right here who's trying to come and, and get Jamal Adams. So uh, Quentin Dunbar ends up out here and then Adams ends up coming underneath this guy's block here. And he comes underneath and he's able to make a tackle right here. So tackle for loss minus one yard on a fly sweep. So you just want to shut this play down. But the fact that they're able to get a tackle for loss is really extraordinary. And really it had to do with both of these guys' instincts, especially Quentin Dunbar. He struggled a little bit in the past game, I would say, but he still almost had an interception. And, uh, and he was you know, right there. He's just a little bit behind, but really good instincts in diagnosing plays. And, uh, and I think that's what's really important for this defense this year.
Football 101 is brought to you by Heritage Distilling Company, makers of BSB Brown Sugar Bourbon.